Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Immaculate Baseball 2 box random number block break number 4. If you're not familiar with the number block break, there's the instructions right there. Pretty easy. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. There are the numbers right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. 6 and a 5, 11 times for each list. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, sorry. This is the wrong list. This is the baseball list right here. Chris, Brian, Mary, Jarrell, Dimitri, Kevin, and Jason. Six and cent, well, same dice roll. Six and five, 11 times. One, two, thanks, Jonathan. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 and final time. Uh, I mean, I would have figured it out at some point, but I was just like, wait, before you even wrote that, I was like, Jonathan signed this break. Jarrell down to Chris. I don't remember him buying baseball. All right, so after 11, we've got Jarrell down to Chris, and then let's do the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 11 the final time. Good luck. After 11, we got nine down to three. Remember, zero gets you any and all redemptions, including one-on-one -on -one redemptions. Uh, one still gets you live one-of-ones. It's alive. All right, JT with nine. Crouch, four. Dimitri, two. Kevin, five. Mary, six. Dimitri, eight. And seven. Jason with one. Kevin with zero. So you'll get any, any and all redemptions that pop out of these two boxes, even if it's a one-of-one -one redemption. But if there's a live one of one that pops, Jason will get it. Chris with three. So let's sort these by column B. By number. Any trades, I guess? And there's the last two boxes right there that were marked four. We'll give it a few minutes here for a few seconds, a few minutes for trades. I get, gotta get this mop cut at some point. No trades? All right, let's roll. TWC trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Trades not very common in number block breaks. There's the final two boxes of the case. if there's any more but we'll see there you go this is the final printout Alex yeah every once in a while we, we do have fillers for some breaks if you look at the break schedule you'll see a list of which breaks have fillers attached to them we used to not do them for the longest time but we slowly started introducing them in a way that that worked best for us. All right, so put that blank card right there so we can hide and slow play some of the hits a little bit. Good luck. First off the top is Votomatic. 28 out of 49, dual relic, Joey Votto. This will have to go into a 180. That's more comfortable. In there. I got Willie McCovey, 15 out of 49, Jumbo Relic. Giants. Oh, by the way, the Joey Votto goes to number eight. That'll be for Dimitri. Willie McCovey to 15, 15 out of 49 that is, goes to number 5, Kevin Hull. Sorry, a little wrinkly on the top loader there, but or on the penny sleeve, but there we go. And we've got Willie Castro, Willie, Covey, Willie McCovey to Willie Castro. 
11 out of 25, two color, dual relic, and autograph. That goes to Jason in number one. And we've got uh, Gavin Lux, 56 out of 99. Jersey and autograph for my Dodgers. That's 56, six, Mary Lou with number six. Oh, nice patch, nice auto, 39 out of 72, Jonathan Hernandez, Jarrell with number nine. Tyler's asking, do you think that the baseball or football prices will ever get to where basketball price now? Well, like if there's a football or baseball team, that would be much the Pelicans. No, I don't think so. Think about it. Basketball has such a global audience, right? You've got Australians who love basketball, Asians that love basketball, basketball European leagues all over the place, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, everywhere, you know? Africa, you know, so... So there's a huge global market there. There's Jake Rogers, two-color patch and autograph, 86 out of 99, Mary Lou. But football and baseball are so uniquely American us, right? You know, it's so uniquely American that it's just the same circle of people who are collecting those, those teams. So different markets, I think. So I don't think so. But football and baseball are, I think, also kind of two different, two different uh, styles of collecting as well. I think baseball is more of like a long-term futures market, right? If you collect the right player out of Bowman Draft in his rookie year, or even RPAs out of NT Baseball or whatever, you collect, if you collect guys like that, and then you hold on to him for a long time, and then that player ends up being you know, a Hall of Famer or something like that, you know, you can sell those cards for, for a ton of money. But it's just sort of a longer term investment. Ooh, we got a one of one on the bottom. But yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all, and that's just a, a very general sense, but it, it's all very different, different returns. You know what I mean? There's Mookie Betts, one out of 25. Right. I'm saying that's good because you can't afford basketball prices. Yeah, that's pretty expensive, but I, it's worth, worth saving up for sometimes, I think, just to get in a break every once in a while. There's one out of 25 Mookie bets for Jason. Why are these going backwards? Sorry about that. All right, we've got, ooh, out of five, two out of five, Roy Campanella. That's pretty sweet. For my Dodgers, Dimitri with number two. Game war material right there. That's pretty awesome. Piece of his lumber. You got the green foil on the lettering, which is pretty sharp. It'll look better in person, I think. It looks really cool right here, but... It's not catching the light quite right, but when, once you see it in person, it's going to be awesome. Out of fives and under, Dimitri, get the train whistle. All aboard! Woo woo! Nice. Jersey and autograph, we got Brian Abreu. 34 out of 49. What is he? Th throws a 1 2 3 inning in his debut. Good job, Brian. That's uh, Brian Crouch with number four. Yeah. 
AJ Puck, what a patch. Patch auto, four out of five. Brian Crouch. That's a pretty excellent patch right there. And remember, uh, remember, out of five and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. A couple more. And there's another train whistle on the bottom, too. We got Trent Grisham, 58 out of 99. I totally got blindsided on a break last week. I didn't realize that Trent Grisham is, is actually, he changed his name. It was Trent Clark before. Forgot about that. 58 out of 99. Ghost number eight, Dimitri with eight. And the last one here is a one-of-one one dual relic and autograph. That is the Indians' is Bobby Bradley. Nice one for Jason Siebert. Last spot mojo gets the one and gets the live one-of-ones. And there you go, boys and girls. There you have it. Jason. All aboard! Woo -woo. There you have it, boys and girls. That was 2020 Panini Immaculate Baseball two box random number block break number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.